I used to feel there are not enough hours in the day. When we are short on time, our plans for healthy and balanced meals go out of the window. We are generally okay rustling up a quick breakfast, but when it comes to dinner and after school snacks, it's really tough to prepare healthy meal when you have kids and also you are a full-time working parent. The good news is there is a way around this. No matter how much you hate cooking or how little time you have or however small your budget is, meal prepping can help you put together healthy and tasty lunches and dinners so that you don't have to eat takeaway food ever again. You only live once and you've got to enjoy every bite, right? So here I am sharing my meal prep routine, hoping to inspire you guys to give it a try. And if you find my content helpful to you, why not like this video and subscribe to my channel? I would really appreciate that. I'll be sharing a lot of healthy meal prep recipes in my channel, Narmada's Vlogs. Today is Saturday and I'm going to start my day with a healthy papaya milkshake. I soaked these nuts last night, some almonds, few walnuts and cashew nuts. I always prefer adding nuts and seeds to milkshakes. Papi? Yeah? Did you give her breakfast? Yes, I did. Let me take it. She's so restless today. Take her to the garden. Oh, Sam, take her to the garden, baby. Okay. Kiwi is so restless. We'll be doing a weekly grocery shopping and then meal prepping later today. That's how I survive my busy weekdays. Meal planning and prepping helps me a lot. I'll show you what I cook the entire week with the little preparation I do over the weekend. I add some dates to give it a natural sweetness. Little bit of allspice. Weather is so sunny today. It's mild weather. I'm just enjoying it. It's really nice weather. But, uh, is it going to rain this afternoon, Pati? Yeah, it is going to rain. Oh. <laughs> you know, Kiwi is Kiwi, the dog, our little puppy. She's only four months old. She's going to a training today. Today is her first training. Yeah, she's <laughs> going to enjoy it today. <laughs> yeah, her first training lesson today. I don't know how she's going to behave. <laughs> She's a bit naughty. Very naughty, not bit. Very, <laughs> Very naughty. <laughs> yeah. My neighbor has a dog too and uh, she said Kiwi is really naughty. <laughs> you know, very very active. She's hyperactive. So, and she, sometimes she listens to what we say and most of the time she doesn't. But uh, she said going to training helps. Really helps. Of course, she's they a puppy. Yeah. She's a puppy, yeah. Dogs are like children. <laughs> when the babies are so small, tiny, toddlers, they don't listen to you and then they grow out of it, don't they? So it's going to be an exciting day. And after that, we'll be going for shopping and I have to do a lot of meal prep today. I'll show you everything I do this weekend. We are harvesting fresh ginger from our garden. I had planted it in a couple of pots. The other pot I already harvested last month. This is long overdue. I was a little bit busy, I had left it. Today only we are harvesting. We are going to make some fresh ginger garlic paste. You know, a lot of Indian recipes, you need ginger garlic paste. Make ginger. You, ginger. Fresh homegrown ginger. Homemade ginger garlic paste is a lot better than buying from stores. It's more flavorful and fresh. The recipe I'm sharing here is my mom's version. She always makes ginger garlic paste and stores it in the fridge. It also freezes very well. It's my lifesaver on busy weekdays. 
I'm using one part ginger and a half part garlic. Some people use one is to one ratio also. It depends on your personal preference. I like it when the garlic is a little bit less than ginger. I also add two tablespoons of sesame oil before grinding it. This makes it really, really smooth paste. You can freeze this ginger garlic paste. This will come for me for several months. I always have a jar of freshly homemade ghee in my kitchen. You can pay a lot of money for ghee from the specialty shops. But homemade ghee is easy to make and costs nothing but the price of unsalted butter and half an hour of your time. I make ghee while making chicken or when the rice cooks or even while cleaning the fridge in weekends. It needs your undivided attention only in the last few minutes. It's so easy. After it froths like this, I leave it for a couple of more minutes so that you'll get a nutty flavor. I just love the ghee's nutty flavor. You can always switch off the stove when it is golden color. I like it a little bit more brown shade. These bubbles will subside when it cools down. We have brought our puppy for her training lesson today. Today is her first session. Let's see. <laughs> You're going to meet a lot of friends today, KB. Sit. Sit. Good. Good. <laughs> she listens well. Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come. Yeah. <laughs> Kiwi, look, you want to start off the class. Show me. Look, Kiwi certificate, you're awesome. <laughs> Kiwi worked super hard and we saw amazing focus by end of session. Well done, KV. She's so excited. <laughs> she's too excited. What breed is your puppy? Uh, she's a mini dachshund. How old is she? Yours. She's a cockapoo. She's a cockapoo. How old is your puppy? Uh, just over four months. Just 17 weeks. Same. She's the same age. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I am taking the puppy for a walk or if she is taking me for a walk. She's just pulling me. She's just a bundle of energy. Look at her. <laughs> Kiwi, this way. This way, honey. Come on. Stop. Look at this. <laughs> it's a dog dirt stop. I love it. It looks like our kiwi, but a brown kiwi. I can't believe I'm a pet person. You know, I used to be so scared of dogs. Now I just love them. I love my dog. I 
always wash the fruits before storing them in the fridge because my kids usually take them and eat straight away. both love cooking together actually we do everything together gardening cleaning the house raising our kids paying the bills everything together that's what we promised to each other before our marriage that's exactly what we are doing now growing together both at work and at home too I don't cut up most of the fruits but pineapple and pomegranate are a bit messy and takes time to clean and cut it so we prefer doing it in the weekends when we have time so that I can use it straight away when I want to during the busy work and school week. My kids love pomegranate in salads and raithas and I especially like porridge on cold mornings. Sometimes I make oats porridge and some days I prefer millet porridge. I love to sprinkle a few pomegranate seeds in my porridge. Prepping these fruits makes my life a lot easier. It saves a lot of time. They love tropical fruits. My ginger garlic paste has frozen beautifully. Now we can take it all up and then store it in a freezer bag. I can use it for months. It will be very handy during weekdays. I sprouted some chickpeas. I'm going to make a healthy dip for my kids as an after school snack. I love Mediterranean hummus and I've tweaked the recipe a little in a way that my kids also eat. While the chickpeas is cooking, I can finish up making some guacamole as well. I am making the traditional guacamole recipe. I will add 2 ripe avocados, 1 tomato, half an onion, handful of coriander leaves, half a lemon juice, salt and a chilli. I don't have a green chilli at home so I am using the fresh ripe red chilli from our garden. I store it in the fridge for up to 4 days. I am going to make my own version of hummus. This is how I like it. I fry white sesame seeds until it is light color and aromatic. Until it gets to that light golden color. I powder it without adding any water. I add some salt, black pepper powder, one garlic pot and three tablespoons of sesame oil. I don't use olive oil though most people use olive oil in hummus but I prefer the taste of sesame oil in my hummus and the boiled chickpeas. 
I add a little bit of water and make it into a paste. See how creamy it is. I like my hummus really creamy. I'm checking the taste. I make my own recipe. You can add any ingredients that you like. You can add olives or roasted peppers, um, carrots. Carrot hummus is also very nice. It has the sweet flavor. It's really nice. You can also add a little bit of lemon juice if you like it. A bit zesty. I like it like this. See what our neighbor just brought it. She brought some gifts for Kiwi, our little puppy. See? This is a blanket, pet blanket, yeah. lovely blanket, yeah. guess what? Yeah. <laughs> lovely rat. She's got a brown rat, this is kind of a grey rat. <laughs> See, she'll bite it all day long, party. <laughs> Give it to her. Sure. She'll love her new oh, dog. No, <laughs> and you know what this is. I've got a smaller scoop. She told me your dog has got bigger now. You need a bigger scoop. When you go out on walks, it's lovely, isn't it? It's very kind of her. She's really nice. They both are really nice. Both are neighbors, this side and that side. They're all really lovely neighbors. I love them. They're a big support to me. They're really good with my kids. And it's really nice. Giving a healthy after school snack is a nightmare when you both are working parents. One of the weekdays I give this roasted butternut squash. They love it. I make it a little sweeter with maple syrup. If you prep it in the weekends, it makes your job so much easier. I will add some salt, black pepper powder, olive oil and maple syrup. I freeze it with the tray and whenever I need it in the weekdays, I bake it at 200 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 35 minutes. It makes a delicious snack. It's actually a dessert, a very healthy dessert. My friend Gayatri is running half marathon today. It's for charity. The event is in Richmond Park. We are here to cheer her. They're already running there. I don't know if it is her batch or the earlier one. I can't see her. Parking lot is so full. Look how busy it is. It's nice weather for a walk. It's not too cold and it's not windy either. It's lovely weather. Kudos to everyone who is running half marathon today. It's really tough task. They are doing it for charity. It is very commendable. It has already started. We are waiting here at the finishing line. There are so many people waiting, their families waiting with champagne to celebrate. It's really lovely to see all this. Congratulations, finisher of the half marathon today. There she comes, our winning girl. We are so proud of you, my girl. We are all so proud of you. Hungry are you? Very hungry? Guys, <laughs> he's really hungry. She's starving. I could eat a whole boat. <laughs> 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 She's very tired. 
But you did great. You did great. Well, Thanks to the cheerleaders behind the camera. Well done. <laughs> we were the cheerleaders. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> It was a great weekend. I'm working from home today, so a little bit chill day, a little relaxing day. Even though we both were working from home on Monday, we were really busy. So I heated up leftover Thai veg curry that we had stored in the freezer and we ate it with rice. Remote working a couple of days a week gives us a work-life balance. We spend more time with our kids, more quality time. Party grilled the fish for the girls for their dinner. We had a relaxing evening. I'm waiting for Party to join me. Most of the days we finish work at different times, but uh, today he said he is coming home early, so we are going together. <laughs> That's fun. Even though I have a nine to five job, my hours are reasonable, and I finish in time always. They are so considerate at work, so I have time to pick up my kids from school and give them snack, cook dinner, and do a lot of parent stuff. <laughs> I want my kids to eat colorful vegetables, don't we all? But they rebel it. No one likes veggies, even I hated them as a child. But if you give the vegetables with the hummus and guacamole, they'll munch it all up. It makes the veggies so tasty. Stocking your freezer with healthy pre-prepped food makes the evenings a lot easier so we don't have to stress out. Girls wanted only a light dinner so I'll be making the butternut squash that we prepared in the weekend. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have a beautiful weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.